Howdy. Okay, the audio is not getting captured. That's pretty cool. Oh wait, there it is. What? How does that... Okay. The name of this game's EXE is in all lowercase. All right, check. Checking. <clears throat> Test. Nah, too loud. Check. Checking. Test. How does it keep on muting itself? Or wait. Is it playing through the cable? Uh... I think? Check. I have no idea what's going on. Why is it so loud? Okay, I think I got it. So, hey guys, this is like a little visual novel that they dropped on April Fool's Day. Seems cool, so I'm gonna play it. People, people seem to like it quite a bit. Let's see. Dot, dot, dot. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Okay, so... I need to name this feller. What is this? Okay, that's the pause menu. I need to name this feller. Uh... Rupert. Yes, Rupert the whatever you are. Dining car. Uh oh, am I nervous? Is this my first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, Rupert, shake it off. Slap. Rupert, did I, uh, just... No, sorry. Rupert, did I just see you, uh, hitting yourself? But Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Probably need to show my mouse for this. Yeah, little mouse icon. Is everything all right? <laughs> well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on the retirement, sir. <laughs> Thank you. My wife is very excited about it. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagoni a lot. <laughs> Sonic Unleashed reference. Our shower's been on the fritz. I mean, so I'm excited to use the hotel. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today is your first day working on the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to inventory. I can open the inventory anytime 
to view the items I've received, I should look over the menu carefully. Yep. It, not much to it. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> oh, I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Ding, ding, ding. Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of, understood? <laughs> Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not c just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It was a pin, knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny tiny pin? What cast of characters am I stuck with? <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Rupert. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal, can I get one of those chili dogs? Of course, sir. R! Are you a pirate? Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I wait. Announce everyone's roles to get food. Ah, <laughs> sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Rupert, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, let's just go left to right. Talk to Nurples with his famous hat that he all the time wears. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone like this. Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. Well, let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Okay, Nurple. Howdy, could I please get your ticket? I think that's a ticket, but I really don't want to argue with this guy. Everything looks good, thank you. Seems the conductor doesn't want to argue either. Hmm. Can I get your ticket, Yoggin? Right here, sir. Thank you, may I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. Haha, <laughs> absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness on someone on this train is normal. Ticket, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Hmm? Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. 
Wait a second, is he- is he Sonic the Hedgehog? I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Y yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. <laughs> Can we please see your ticket? Of course. Excellent, thank you, and I hope you enjoy your stay with us. Absolutely, I appreciate it. There's a calmness about him. Something about his presence puts me at ease. You consider me calming? He's looking right at me. I study ninjutsu. I believe no- I believe one can communicate through the subconscious. I know you can read my thoughts, boy. W wow ninjutsu? That sounds like a lot of difficult training. Can you cling on to walls? Cling on to walls? What kind of question is that? I most certainly can. The conductor looks a bit too smug at that answer. Arm. Mmm, yummy. Don't don't mind if I do. Rupa, those are for our guests, you know. Train, be sure R o Rupert only gets one of those if they ask. Yes, it is me, Arm. Did the Arm just kind of nod? Actually, uh, Train, the conductor wants me to have the whole plate. <laughs> Good try, young buck. The train and I have worked together a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Hey, ZJ. Been too busy playing 20-year-old GameCube games I've played a hundred times. I mean, I feel that. Drat. The snacks look really tasty, too. Okay. Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> I'm going to lose my voice by the time this is done. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. <coughs> oh my god. How does he do this? <laughs> he seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? I, uh, seem to have misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Oh, actually, we may be able to help you. Rupert, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? Ah, there it is! That's my ticket! Thanks so much to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. Oh, 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 old Rupert here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right, I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? Hee <laughs> hee, why certainly. Thank you, miss. And thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Uh, maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along, for you, miss. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Here. Thank you. Everything is in order. He seems concerned about something. Is there anything we can help you with? Do you sell gift bags here? Uh, no, sadly, but I have a plastic grocery bag in the back I could get for you. That stare. Mm, so cold. Rupert, you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch your jacket? <laughs> no, no, I'm good. And while wow, Blaze jumped... <laughs> Blaze jumped dimensions to attend. Oh, oh. May I have your ticket, please? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. 
A princess such as myself must always be punctual. P princess? Did she just say princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension, actually. A separate what? <laughs> just here for Amy's birthday, then I'll hop back to my own dimension. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own, so I admit I'm a bit excited. Oh, you don't say! Well, I hope you enjoy your stay, princess. Sh should I bow? Do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get up. Why can I not win with this group, no question mark? Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Good morning, ma'am. Can we get your ticket? My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. For, for, we're asking for tickets. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Gonna have to kindly ask for that back. Oh, this was yours? Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. Okay, everyone, time for me to read out everyone's roles for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express? <coughs> God, I'm... I'm so ready for this dude to leave. Oh my god. <laughs> Absolutely, you can count on me. <laughs> to be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. And train? Assist Rupert if they need any help, won't you? <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Have a phenomenal time, please. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all of that. For everything else, please talk to Rupert here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Well, there. <laughs> Goodbye now. I like that guy. <laughs> yeah, I bet you would. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you read your lore cards as well? Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for the characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> my Sonic is so dreadful. <laughs> Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed in the conductor's car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. What kind of train has a saloon? Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Mmm, <laughs> sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Mm. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Yes! Oh, I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer, murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. 
Everyone else must collect evidence through the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. Then we decide who is the most sussy and eject them from the train. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can. Find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Sounds like everyone's excited. Everyone to your stations. This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. How thrilling, I have goosebumps. Hang on, maybe I can do something like this. Same! Ah, isn't it awesome? Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the journalist and the detective can't be the murderer. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping out the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one each amongst one another. Everyone in Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friends with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kinda fun. Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. The train started moving. It's so fast. Grab onto something. What is going on? Ah, I'm slipping. But hold on. I can't. Ah, ah. No. Ah, you're finally awake. Y yeah. Seems the train has slowed down considerably. Is everyone alright? Yeah, my head's spinning a bit, but I'm okay. Seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth of this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning ab me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Rupert, could you get the door? Of course. Of course! Hmm, seems the door is blocked and I don't think it's budging. Amy, give that w fallen shelf a whack with your Pico Pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'll search over here. Yeah, uh, this is maybe slightly more annoying than I thought, having to <laughs> turn the filter on and off. I know, Amy. She's hiding something. But, huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Listen, I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. Though that is exactly what the flicky said before he turned evil. Spoon. Okay. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. 
Once I slipped on some spilled juice at the grocery store. No, wo no wet floor sign at all. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Wow, Sonic it really is as fast as they say. But he was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. What do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any of this for you? When we get out of here, sure. I normally never make microwave meals. I prefer to cook. My cast iron skillet has gotten a lot of use lately. I can cook a mean cast iron pizza. <laughs> I've only had microwave lunches this week. The shelf blocking our exit. It's currently not budging. Hey Rupert, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. How do I put a check on the, like, crack on the shelf in my inventory? Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. But on the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out on a train. I'll keep looking. Okay, we already, yeah. Start interrogation. We don't have enough evidence yet. Okay, well fine, look for more evidence. What, what else can I check? Oh, oh, oh. What's this, a rod? The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. I think we found enough clues. Go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You accuse me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Hmm. Microwave a chili dog. I told I told you, I'm not eating until it's birthday cake time. Back, let me think through this again. I don't think you were sitting idly while Rupert and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. <laughs> Show me evidence that I attempted to escape, or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Okay, tutorial. What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over, damage makes sense. You have no argument there, you're grasping. Oof, okay, Tails, what now? Well, now we follow this train of thought. How does the crack on the shelf relate to Amy? So now I have to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think. What would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Er. Uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think. What would Sonic do? And find your argument. Think! Oh, it... It's, uh... <laughs> you're gonna get some clacking. I wasn't prepared for this.
Yeah, yeah, collect blue spheres. <laughs> like that it has my name up there. Sure, the shelf... But sure, the shelf fell. <laughs> sure, the shelf is hard to say. But there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. You're telling me, on a train this well kept, that the damage here was... That the damage was here before we arrived? Well, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with, then? What is that, a stick? You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage? No. But there was something on the stick. Yeah, sorry, I was not prepared for keyboarding. And I got the really loud-ass mechanical keyboard. You're right, a stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could. Like, say, a hammer. This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Uh. It's as you both said. I tried to get out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack and the handle ripped right off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective, and I dabble as a mechanic. Let's- let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. Tails, thank you. According to my calculations, you hit- if you hit the shelf right here, it should do the trick. Alright, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. That cost us $500. We did it, we're free. Great job, Amy, let's get out of here. Yeah, if Amy's gonna be following us around the whole time, I might, I might not <laughs> keep going with the filter. Wait, is that? <laughs> and he's doing the, he's doing the family guy death pose. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, but it's still funny. It can't be. Sonic! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! She seems really excited about that. Oh, I, you know, I guess because it's a game. Looks like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Ugh. Body numb. Can't move. Wh what are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic? Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery, or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no, oh no, I feel myself panicking. Calm down, Rupert, what do I do? These guests are incredibly renowned, which must be, they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their care to you, Rupert. <laughs> no, no, not doing the conductor anymore. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is part of the game, I just can't risk it. 
I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. Money. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. 40 minutes in and we get the title card. That does not bode well. Oh, the saloon car. Every train's got one. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> I chose that specifically so I wouldn't have to do the filter. Rupert, I'm over here. I think Amy's already gone on ahead. Seems she's really excited. <laughs> Wanted Omo Chow. You need something from me? Uh, yeah, just a question, really. How do I put this? What if Sonic is actually hurt? <laughs> he's... He's laughing? Sonic doesn't go down so easily. He's on a train full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're just all really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of strange spots. He's fine. He's making a lot of sense, but I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Is this really part of the murder mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Can I tag along with you? If you don't mind, is it cool if I tag along with you? Oh, of course, sure. Now if I ever need a snack, you've got me. Ah, uh, fair. As I said, the best detectives have sidekicks, so I'm happy to have you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh, where's my lore card? The last guy to work a case with me ditched our practice to join the evil Dr. Eggman. Not a proper detective without baggage. This is true. Yeah, varmints. What are y'all doing in my saloon? He's trying so hard to stay in character. Knuckles, we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic. I can see that. Amy moves it through and told me all about it. <laughs> en enough of that. Wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel Knuckles right now, I feel him. We were wondering if you could tell us what you were up to before the murder. Anything to help us establish your alibi and... Nope, I have nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I know better than to argue with Knuckles, so it seems we're on our own. Rupert, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were all apart. Let's investigate for clues, then interrogate. Right, let's do it. So yeah, it seems like... It seems like it's fairly linear and it's not overly complicated. So you just kind of, you know, you just kind of spend some time with the characters. Have it, have a little, have a little funny. Oh, that's funny. The door is locked tight and we can't go any further. I wonder what, how Amy was able to leave then. Good point. How are these doors locked and how long were they locked for? Uh, it's, you can just kind of walk under it right, right here. We'll have to keep this in mind. Play arcade. Play the game. Knuckles been drinking. Knuckles is drunk. I had a partner. Spittoon free establishment. Coliseum highway zone. That's not a real zone. Ah, the bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Kind of bland. Hmm. Seems like someone licked all the salt off of them. What? what? <coughs> or maybe they're just unsalted. <laughs> oh, Rupert, you asshole. The robotic arms in here are really helpful. What's the arm doing to my hair? He fixed it up a bit. That's incredible. What interesting tech. Uh-oh, should I fear for my job a little bit? How well can it microwave? Oh. Uh, I don't like how real that feels right now. Rupert, this is interesting. What is? Just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? I told you because Knuckles was drunk. Knuckles is drunk. Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty? 
Rupert, this one has lipstick on the rim. Oh god, they were shagging in here. That's not Knuckles' color at all. <laughs> Somebody, someone else must have been here. We should log this. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, this one is empty as well. I'm starting to think your theory on something always being hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Have faith. It's as they say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. I think Tails is ignoring me. <laughs> Breathtaking views. The train passes by some incredible sights. I'm just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters. I don't mind roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the cars. I'll never understand this friend group. <laughs> Decent cash reward for finding this robot. Maybe I'll keep an eye out. Poor Omo Chow. Hate to see them like this. What they do. Medical malpractice. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Clearly, we won't be able to give the game Super Monkey Ball a try. M Monkey Ball mentioned! Ow. Do you think we broke it? Do you think it... Yeah. Do, do we think it broke when the train sped up? The damages look to be caused more from punches? Who could have done that? <laughs> What are you two looking at me for? <laughs> Think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Knuckles, then find out what really happened. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I like your hat. Hmm. Knuckles, are you blushing? I said leave me alone. It doesn't look like he's used to being complimented. Did you just adjust your hat a bit so we could see it better? I said leave. Mm, not hungry. Well, if you ever are, then you'll let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Rupert. You're not a butler. Tell him that. Uh, yeah, like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. Dang it! Knuckles, Rupert and I need to determine what you were doing during the hour the murder took place. I already told you, buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say much. What happened here is pretty obvious. It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Rupert, just take a good look at our inventory. What was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Well, I don't know. It could be either of these things. Um, but I'm gonna say the cups. <laughs> Wrong choice, Rupert. Let's try that again. What could have been distracting Knuckles? I mean, that could have been that could have been plausible. Uh, Rouge came by. <laughs> she 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 drank out of the cup. Knuckles hit on her. <laughs> she turned him down, and he got so mad that he punched the arcade machine. That there. Super monkey ball. The arcade machine? Ha! Huh. What makes you think I touched it? Oh, oh. Gotta do some thinking. This is how I think. This is what's running through my head every hour of every day. It's like a Jimmy Neutron brain blast, but it's Sonic running across a checkerboard. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... What evidence do you have that the damages are punches? What are you all staring at my hands for? Knuckles, you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag and none were available to me. Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? I believe repairing the arcade machine will give us our answer. How will you- I'm on it. Rupert, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on. Hey. 
You can kind of like bob and weave to get maximum ring. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. At this rate, I'm gonna have the answers to everything. Everything you could ever want to know. The arcade machine is fixed. No, don't look at the scores. Quick, look at the scores. I'm pulling it up now. Okay, what does this tell us? Nothing, obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on top of the list. It's Vector. He's supposed to be in the library car. Mm. The picture is begging to be painted here. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. And in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinet. Mm. He's punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? Vector's a common name. Prove to me he was here now. He's right, you know. My old elementary school teacher was named Vector. Maybe I, I should have set up like a controller to use with this. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't happen that much. I just hate the idea of clacks. It drives me crazy. That's my motive. Sonic was making a clacking noise, so I killed him. Now, Rupert, what proves Vector was here with Knuckles? The, the cup? No! I thought it was strange there was more than one cup sitting next to you. While you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday, you and Vector enjoyed some drinks, playing arcade. It's not, um, it's not like, it's not, I wasn't, but uh, don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the uh, top of the hour wanting to play the arcade machine with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the highest score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest. I didn't want to be caught. <coughs> and that's my story, an alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, that explains one of the used cups. But what are the cups with the lipstick mark? R Rouge was in here too. It's inconsequential, not worth mentioning. She was searched <coughs> around for something but failed, made fun of our game, and left. Obnoxious, that one. But you offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two relent? Hmm, I'm understanding the scenario. Vector insist visited the play games, Rouge couldn't find something and left. Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thank you for answering so many of our qu- Actually, that's not everything, is it, Knuckles? I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on that high score list. Doesn't make sense. Rupert, can you take a look one more time? An odd name on the high score list? What is Tails talking about? Hmm. Toast, apple, bread, oh, oh. All the other names have a food theme, but, but not this one. Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know Rupert, but there is someone here that goes by that title. The ultimate life form. But there's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sneaks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow dropped by. So Shadow is here too. He taught us the game and was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very annoying. You all immediately had to compete, huh? He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and not open it for anyone. Then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him. Saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? 
No, I think she has some sort of key too. That's right, the conductor gave her that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know, they didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. You're gonna have to find them and learn your- ask them yourselves. More information than I expected to get there. But it seems we can move on. As of right now, I believe your story, Knuckles. We'll only know for sure when we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Will do, Sheriff. Come on, Rupert, let's head to the library. On it. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Rupert! Coming! Alright, alright. Uh, hang in there, baby. <laughs> All this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I don't think people say that. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. Already, before you go, Espiono, I wanted to give you our presents. My presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Hmm, Vector. Seems we have more guests. Amy, there you are. Found any leads? Oh, the detective pair needs help from the birthday girl? Uh, she knows everyone's allowed to be sassy on their birthday. Uh, within reason. Within reason. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. But how are you gonna leave? The door to the next car is locked! Oh, you doubt the birthday girl? The birthday girl has a master key. Right, right. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. Practically tradition. Of course, it's a birthday privilege! I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye! Amy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now what are you two doing? Looking mighty suspicious, I say. I'm the detective, so I can't be the murderer. And I'm, uh... Just making sure things go alright. Things aren't going... great. <laughs> Not sure if you've forgotten, but there was a murder. Well, I mean, besides that. Besides murder? Uh, my social skills, non-existent. I'm Vector, the Butcher. I'm licensed to handle raw meat. And he... You know, sometimes he butches things, too. And I'm Espio, the Poet. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives with the most rhythmic of prose. Can I hear some? Uh, sure. Uh... Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. D d d d. Was that it? I have more if you like. Cherry blossoms in the spring. I'm, uh, satisfied for now, thanks. At least he's rhyming, I suppose. Rupert and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. We were all sent off. When we were all sent off, Bruges, Blaze, Shadow, and Sun. <laughs> All passed through this library car, where Amy told me and Espio to stay. I promptly picked a book up off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yep. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library car, seemingly looking for something. Then she went to search the saloon car. 
She came back shortly after. We heard her shout, No way! At the brochure at the brochure stand over there. But she left back to the casino car before Shadow came through and locked the door. Wonder what she found. She's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car, and then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More important more importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car, where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I got so engrossed by the rolling monkey action, I hardly noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car, again locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. That's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelves falling on us, but we got through it all right. We sat trapped here until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one that told us someone murdered Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm, with all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it up for you. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I got you covered too. Thanks, guys. Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should still search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves what they're saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. A tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Okay. A chow hangs precariously from a tree branch. The large text below reads, Hang in there. Wow, I really needed to see this. Little chow's hanging there, refusing to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick to his principles and find strength, then I can too. There's no way that much thought was put into this poster. Right? Ooh, brochures. There are travel destination ideas here, like amusement parks, caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Rupert, look at this. There's a couple maps here. Seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. Okay. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Look, there's stalactites! Nah, leave it. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves. Shadow supposedly walked <coughs> through the library car before going into the saloon car. When Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. Gotta be a reason he's doing this. Should we make note of it? Yeah, I do believe we should. Wait, so Shadow's lock. Well, I mean, that's unlocked right there. Well, I mean, I guess Amy unlocked it. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling cleaning up this car. To be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, probably for the best. Uh, let's just take a pause and sit for a second. These chairs are very comfy, so plush. Puts me in the right mood to read. Makes me want to take a nap, personally. In fact, maybe I'll rest my eyes a bit. Rupert, no, don't fall asleep. There's been a murder, remember? If I had a ring for every time a murder ruined my nap time, I'd have two rings. Which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. Ah, I really thought there'd be something there. Rupert, are you sad there was nothing in the trash bin? No, 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 I'm all right. I'm sure, I'm sure there'll be something hidden in the next trash bin we find. You really think so? Um, yeah, we just gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, yeah, okay, there's, these trash bins hide a secret, I'm sure of it. Rupert, you're pretty unconventional, but I like that. But was that supposed to be a compliment? Okay, the globe. 
Look at the world. A globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd love to visit some of the countries. Oh yeah, that's like a new lore thing they've established at some point. Is that... Like, okay, so... There's a lot of games with humans, and there's a lot of games with like all these weird animal people. And... <laughs> they were... People were kind of talking about how there was a lot of one sometimes, and then a lot of another, another time. And the explanation they came up with is that the animals live on the islands and the humans live in, like, the big countries. They're a lot of fun, honestly. Plenty of wonderful people and shops. The food can't be beat either. Ah, sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I have, actually. If you're ever visiting, be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle! Professor Pickle mentioned! <laughs> Professor Pickle! <laughs> He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind, thanks. This group knows everyone has been everywhere, haven't they? Oh, 10 out of 10 game Pickle mentioned. It's the thing! It's the thing! Check out our book club. Gone Gal. Okay. What else is there to check? Book? Oh. Wow, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. But Sonic needs me. No time to rest. Alright, let's move on then. Well, I mean, a little peek wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. That's odd. I know some books have fallen out on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order but this one. It's the user guides to the Mirage Express, Express, the train we're currently on. You think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. Oh, that- that was enough? Pickle! 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 <laughs> Fancy a poem? Spice! I've made it up to space with my beloved antique vase But a mistake in my haste Dropped the vase from my embrace So my antique I must now replace Oh, and there's the chows at the curtain. What caused you to drop the vase? D don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Okay, what do you want? You want food? I have a poem about this. My starved stomach babbled, though I ignored the grumbling tummy. For the eggs I re received are scrambled when I asked for my eggs runny. <laughs> oh, wow, uh, we, we don't serve any eggs on the train, though. My talent is wasted on you lot. <laughs> So, the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust either of you, but I wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibis. Rupert and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to go play games with Knuckles, and if Espio really was reading in the library car. Vector, we'll start with you. Why did you leave the library car to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if ne- Oh, that's easy! I got bored! What? I wasn't entertaining en him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remembered the arcade machine and the saloon car, so I figured I'd go check it out. It seems to line up with the information we gathered from Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to USBO. Rouge entered the library car, found something, and then left. You said you immediately started reading, but were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library car? Of course he was! Once SBO starts reading, he doesn't stop till it's done! I've seen it happen! Must have been a good read. What was the book? SBO doesn't owe you that, detective! Let the man live! What if it was embarrassing? What kind of things do you think I read? If you won't talk, I have a hunch on what the book might be. He was reading the train manual. 
A manual? You think SVO was reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? And now it is time for an endless runner. Except it's not endless at all, is it? Oh, crap. First time I've taken a hit on one of these. Oh, oh. I mean, I'm pretty much good at this point. Okay, so you can't run off the edges. You're you're pretty much you're pretty much good on that one. There are books scattered around the floor, sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were in all in alphabetical order, all except this manual. Meaning someone, at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. This lack of attention to detail isn't normally like you, Espio. Hey now, I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. Uh, apologies, Espio. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. That indeed was the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Rupert, if you don't mind. Could you ask Espio some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Oh, I see. Quiz Espio about the manual to prove he read it. Which page should I quiz him on? Uh, 97. Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to ins insist in keeping the train spotless? Robotic arms. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks and are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. <laughs> I remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. No, I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect where explosives or weapons being brought onto the train, ensuring passenger safety. Seems like Espio aced that question. Rupert hit him with another one. Okay, 231. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged with a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. <laughs> Last one, Rupert. Let's see if SBO can go for three. Page 16. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It works in tandem with the conductor to ensure smooth travel for guests. I remember this. The train is an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass your little test? Hmm. Totally, it's wild you were able to retain all this information so quickly. A poet's brain is often surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that. You've clearly read the manual. These answers feel far too specific to be guesses. And you both had the nerve to question my buddy like that. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? You have to admit though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if true. But he answered all my questions so calmly. That's very impressive. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitudes. Vector was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate, despite being the truth. Well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can- Espio, is that true? Vector was the only one to see you reading? Mm, yes, that's correct. Problem, officer? Frankly, I don't believe that can be true, and we have evidence to back it up. Rupert? He always puts me on the spot. Shadows lock? Please, pray tell, what does this have to do with anything? Oh, uh, I don't- uh, I know what- I- I know what it has to do, I don't need to play the think game. It's just like Shadow had to come through to lock the door. Ergo, he must have seen it.
Uh oh. Uh oh, they're scanning me. Oh, scan. Shurik scan. Shadow walked through the library car to get to the saloon car, where he set the original high score on the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it! It wasn't the high score long! Crocs are natural gamers! Espio said he saw Shadow enter the library car, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, Espio was fully seated reading his book for a good while at this point. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when he left the saloon car. So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Espio didn't notice each other on Shadow's return trip. Uh, I mean, it, it was a simple slip-up. I was just, uh, fully immersed in my book that I didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Uh, well, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors, then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Rupert, one that I would love for Espio to solve. You gotta believe me. That cool demeanor is vanishing. I was so involved with my book that I didn't notice Shadow pass back through the library car, honest. When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention. Yeah, I think I remember doing that. I must avenge my friend's death, so I'll ask you again, Espio. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't! I didn't! Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's in... he's on to something, but I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Hmm... Good question. I think I'm feeling Tails on this one. No, I can't interrupt Tails when he's on to something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... Tails. We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. Alright, my fellow associate, lay it on me. What piece of evidence so shows Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another? Okay. It's almost like a video game. You ever notice that? Oh. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, crap, Lois. This reminds me of the time I was on the checkerboard dimension. Oh, 69. Very nice. The library map? Oh, oh, I see. See the exits? They're right across from one another. A straight path. If Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way that Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. Looks like you'll have to point out where exactly on the map you mean. Where could Espio have been for Shadow to not see him? Hmm, let's see. I think it's right here. Interesting. That's where I was sitting, reading my book. I can second this! When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot! That confirms it, then. You see, Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another from this spot, because a bookcase is in the way. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio, or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. I apologize for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasping despite telling the truth. 
Well, I'm glad you all believe me now. Your alibi isn't the most airtight, but I have mo no further points. Thank you both for answering all our questions. We did it. Another pair of alibis validated. Okay, there you go. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Sadly, our work isn't done. I have plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through here earlier. And that's our cue to leave. See you later, Vector and Espio. Give them heck! And if you need any meat chopped up, say the word! I'll keep my poetry sharp for you both. A murderer is on the loose, while doors keep getting locked. Tick, tick tock goes the clock, while our heroes are in the caboose. At this point, I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this. Come on, Rupert, let's see what's next. Coming. Okay, moving on. Chow man. Rouge, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us why. My, my, talk about a warm welcome. Quick to the point, aren't you, darling? And I see you brought the microwave master with you? Ah, uh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tails is right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? Tell them, Rouge. We're gonna need the help. Blaze? Alright. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on this train. T treasure They certainly didn't tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell them what it is, Rouge. Alright, well... It's a Fabergé chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find that egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me on the, in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train car for clues. I dedu deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in this train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? And what did you manage to find, Rouge? Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? I found the train's blueprints in my library car, with the safe code written right on it. The score of a lifetime. The train's blueprints? Please, please, Rouge, let us see that. Uh-uh-uh, finders keepers, sweetheart. There's a problem. We need your assistance. What kind of problem? The elevator behind the security guard leads us right to the room holding the Fabergé chow egg. But we're not getting anywhere without the guard's access card. We need a plan to use the elevator, and our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help us help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Blaze, you don't have a problem with this? I see no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah, uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that, or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Rupert, do you have an opinion on this? Well, I mean, I'm I'm an employee of the train, so I gotta, like, I don't, I don't know, I have to say. I think the only square is he, here is you, Microwave Master. I must admit, that wasn't the coolest thing I've heard someone say. I mean, hey, if I could have rephrased it, I, I would have. The game gave me two options. No, no, my cool and serious rep reputation, it's crumbling! My roast is ruined! Alright, alright, I'm in, I'll help. Well, I suppose it blow- Blah, blah, blah. If both Blaze and Rupert are in. Okay, let's get that Fabergé chow egg. <laughs> That's the ticket, happy to have you both on the team. Now we must plan. Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access to the Fabergé Chow egg room is locked- is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Do we... Just 
distract the guard. Distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough for that to work. That was actually a really nice thing to say. Rupert, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. Seems they don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's distracting the security guard? Um... Of course I'll distract them. Who could resist my feminine charms? I'm not sure how effective your charms will be to on a chow. Plus, your flight might prove useful. I'm not sure you being the distraction makes sense. Oh well, fair enough. Let's think it over again. Uh, Tails. Sure, I could be the distract- I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter who does the distraction. I don't like the way he said that. Vito. <laughs> I'm with Blaze. His delivery was shaky. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever logic you want to go with. Think you could distract the guard, Blaze? In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. What's the distraction? Hmm. I don't- I don't know. I would say like, okay, get chow fruit. Put chow fruit on the ground. Causing a ruckus. I like it a lot. That'll get the guard's attention for sure. Let's move forward. Oh, you know, because Blaze is a cat and she's slapping something off the desk. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent, we can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No promises. With the card obtained, we need to get Blaze out of there. Rupert, what's your plan? Uh... Then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What is your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? What? Well, I am... You dress far too plain. You would need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what, maybe we should try something else. Interesting, you give up far too easily as well. We'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else! With the card obtained, we need- <laughs> yeah, just- Uh... <laughs> Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great, and with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we'll make it in the elevator. Inside, we... Now that's a proper victory. Oh no, one last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? I should be able to disengage them, I'll just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, Tails is taking a while and the arms are tightening their grip. <laughs> Tails managed to do it. <laughs> Darlings, I'm happy to say this plan is perfect. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. Alright, let's see what's up that elevator. I knew the plan would go off without a hitch. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Our plan beforehand was very thorough, I must admit, and it was executed to perfection. I didn't get to see any of it! Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the safe code right here on these blueprints. Let's claim our Fabergé Chow Egg. Hee <laughs> hee. No question, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. 
Enter the code in the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart. Let's see. 230401. Oh, wow. It's here. <laughs> I have it. All right, before anyone sees us, let's get out of here. Hold on, kiddo. We can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever? Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret, because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? You sure can, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Bomb! Uh-oh. Rouge, has no one lived to tell the egg secret? Because each egg is a bomb? I think you're on to something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. We need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. Fine, fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? That's an excellent question. What do we do with a bomb? <laughs> uh... Quick, put the egg back, Rouge. Uh, okay, fine. It's going back in. Tails, the safe won't lock. The door's staying open? Wh what Close the door and twist the dial. I obviously am. There must be some weird way to relock the door. There's no other buttons or dials. How are you supposed to... We don't have time to miss mess with this. Think of something else. Great idea. Stop, stop. That's clearly not working. Let's think of something else. Uh... What do you mean by this? You know, red wire, blue wire, you gotta cut one, like the movies. This isn't a movie, Rupert. This is real life. Eck, he's got a good point. Um... Stop. That did nothing. I can't believe I just did that. Cool the bomb down with your tails like a fan. Worth a try. I still hear ticking. However refreshing the breeze may be. Okay, new plan. Not with any salt I won't. Really, Rupert? Probably a poor time for jokes, huh? Call me crazy, but perhaps fire and explosives shouldn't mix. Don't think fire would neutralize the blast? You just like the things say things, don't you, Rupert? Maybe. Where did you hear about chaos control? Doesn't matter, we need a chaos emerald to be able to do that. Well, dang it. You know, just... Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? We need to dispose of the bomb, Rupert. That is our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait, that's right. Rupert, I think you're onto something. Huh? What's right? Spit it out, kid. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just SBO did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the train's manual. Robot arms that attacked us in the elevator seem to have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was brought onto the train disguised as this Fabergé chow egg, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor, and surely he wouldn't allow such a thing either. So if we're out of options, I think we should wait and see what happens. Okay, we wait. Okay.
the egg. It opened. It's hollow, not a bomb at all. You both really were onto something. Phew! My, my, well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. Eee, and look what's inside. Wow, look at that sparkle, and it's so heavy, too. The final secret to the Fabergé Chow egg is a chow covered in gems. It's perfect, it's exquisite, it's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkly ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé egg's secret. I wonder why the egg... why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us, I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just kept the secret with them. Uh, as much fun as this has been, shouldn't we get out of here before we're spotted? Good call. Let's go. Yeah. No one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. W wouldn't we- wouldn't they see us coming- you know, whatever. Hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? Thank you both for your assistance. The hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Stealing was strangely fun? But I prefer to never do it again. Now Rouge. Rouge? She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What, what, what is it, darling? About those blueprints. Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look? Well, I appreciate your assistance. Blech. While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I'll need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. You can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence to make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than me. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to. Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also had just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. The door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Will do. Come on, Rupert, let's head out. Gotcha. The mystery continues. Capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. I don't know. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah, that is true. They're very versatile. Tails, we must search the trash bin. <sighs> it's empty. Oh? Oh, did I hear an O? I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. My dad told me when he met my mother, he would drive her to work two hours away every Tuesday with a flower from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her. Within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, and persistence. That's um, very sweet, but all that's in the bin is a lollipop stick. A uh, lollipop stick? Yeah, like the leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's there. Rupert? Rupert, is everything okay? You need me to bring you a flower? Just leave me be. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole, maybe the egg is a bomb thing destroyed my appetite. Uh, yeah, I was nervous myself. We could tell. You sweat out of your uniform pretty often. Yeah, you're a very animated person. Wow. Okay, just, you know, check around the room, see what's... See what's around... Oh, oh, jackpot. There he is! There they are! Knights mentioned! No cheating. Ah, visit Twinkle Pie. The, the sign is honestly the best thing about this so far. Hmm? That's Dr. Eggman's logo. I suppose he deals does deal a lot with casinos. He's an evil scientist that always caused trouble for us in Sonic. Hmm, every poker chip I've personally seen has had Eggman's mug on it. 
but I'm not too surprised to see this here. That's fair. I should suppose I shouldn't be so surprised then. Mm, that's a little sussy. Oh, hold on just a moment. Feel like the old nose was getting a little nosular. Hmm, should I give the slot machine a try? Yeah, play the slots. All right, let's see. Big money, big prizes. I love it. Well, I lost. Do I try again? Nah. I respect your restraint. Uh, thanks. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darlings? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later. Sure, if I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Wait, we should probably... Probably ask about, like... The alibi. You think you could go over your alibi again for us, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Sure, we left the dining car and Rouge pulled me to the side to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. We walked and talked to the casino car, where we went our separate ways. I scoped around, and the egg was here. After that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which was odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and left. Interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash-out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. 14,000 credits? That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, well, thank you for your time, Blaze. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? Of course, can do. Your alibi. Do you think you could go over your alibi again for us, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy play paired- I am slowly losing the ability to read this dialogue. Once Amy paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her in on my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car, and I went searching for the blueprints. I walked back through the library and saloon cars till I found it in the library car. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? Sonic? No, I don't believe so. I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. You have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. You take care now. Likewise, darling. Yeah. Let's talk to Shad. Now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking these doors. It's hard to get a word in as you talk over me. I have my reasons, I... No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect an, uh, the Iron Chef as well. We'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. I'd also like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems Amy already knows, so ask her. Hmm. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you could leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. An appointment? Who wants to meet with him? Well, Rupert, it seems like Shadow isn't gonna talk. Let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? Indubitably, my dear Rupert. Okay. Check the, the dresser. Open the wardrobe.
All right, watch a pro. <laughs> All this dust, you opened the door too fast. It blew everywhere. <laughs> Hmm, Tails, do you see this? A pull string. Rupert. What? It's gotta activate something. What? The back of the wardrobe opened. Opening a secret compartment in my secret box. There's a full passageway back here. Come on, we have to see where this leads. He's curious, this must mean something big. This is the library. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library. I don't believe it. Shh, quick, back through the passage before they spot us. We need to add that to our inventory. Okay, chow band. Hey, it's the big chow band. Give us a jam. That was spiritual. I feel reawakened. <laughs> There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these arms? Can you tell it to do something? Oh no, but I'll give it a shot. Hey robotic arm, can you... Give me a high five? Doesn't seem to be listening to you. But I can give you a high five. Oh sweet. Rupert, we can't move on until we interrogate Shut. I know, but I was investigating. I was investigating. I was checking it out. Computer. They told us they told us about this in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. How lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. The printer. Hmm. A key ring? Must be Shadows, the locksmith. Interesting that there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a bunch. Wanna take it? Yeah, let's take it. The printer. Seems a printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Huh, this printer is surprisingly tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stump me. And here you go. Yep, this is exactly what I asked for. I'll, uh, quietly set this back on the printer. Yep, that sure was a good use of time. Tails. No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Rupert, and you've been disappointed every time. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin, Rupert? <sighs> Alright, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Ha! Ah. <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website? It's for the band Hot Honey. Interesting, Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Are we sure this isn't just trash? I'll let you have this. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Okay. Shadlow. What go- what go? Why did you come over here? There's nothing I can help either of you with. I ask that you leave me be. A stare, so cold. You know, maybe we will get out of here, actually. Rupert, we certainly will not. Shadow, we have questions for you. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment to attend to. Sorry, but this is important. Shadow, we've questioned everyone on this train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why. Pray tell, why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> time to reveal my hot tip. Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours, truly. We're ready. 
According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This door, right here in the lounge car, is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Following? So Shadow was locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Do you think so Shadow was trapping Sonic? I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure conjecture. You all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims that they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped and couldn't leave the conductor's car. Recu reckless speculation. Is the logic sound, though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'll play along and follow this train of thought, Amy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's... Can't, can't say anything. <laughs> Cannot talk. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car, my, my tongue is starting to get dry. Like, legitimately. Mm. That's what I'm trying to do with that. Like, mm. Mm. yeah. If he did, if he did that, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. I think Rupert and I can explain the car change, however. Rupert, what evidence do we have that shows that Sonic could have gotten to the dining car? Okay, the, the minigame. Play the minigame. Oh no! Meteors are falling from the sky! Except not really, because none of this is actually happening. You don't pay me. We don't really exist. We're just an abstract metaphor. <laughs> We're just a vi clever visual metaphor meant to demonstrate the abstract the ab the concept of that. Rupert and I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrive at the dining car. Excellent work, Rupert. Hmm, this adjusts my theory a bit. So Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to his station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped his body off at the dining car. Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? I am, but of course, this is just a theory. I, uh, don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Ha, seems Tails and I were more thorough than you. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage and appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, um... I suppose it would be hard to sneak around two people. Rupert, do you have any guesses? Oh, well, Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because... That's true, Vector was with Knuckles, and wouldn't have seen Shadow enter the library car. See, things are falling into place. But what about Espio? I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. He's lying. What, what was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at whatever game, at that whatever game, I left the saloon car. I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I... Uh, like I'd believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? If you must know, I needed to give him a key. As if, why would the locksmith be giving away his keys? 
Shadow's been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys? Perhaps Rupert and I can further validate Shadow's claims. We can do what? Rupert, what evidence supports Shadow's claim that he was have giving keys away? Key ring. Okay. More mini game. More running. Wouldn't be a Sonic game if you didn't run. Gotta shove some running in there. You know, when I saw the difficulty options for like rings and bottomless pits and stuff, I legitimately thought it was a joke. I thought they were having a funny. Like, oh, they're, yeah, bottomless pits in a visual novel. Like, how does, how would that even work? But nope, nope, they're, they're actually here, yep. There's only one reason that there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give Espio and Vector. No way. W well, what if his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. Interesting. So let's say that Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him into the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She's right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? I think Rupert and I know exactly why Shadow was locking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? First, Amy, I have just one question for you. Has everyone today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Just, um, Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet. But that's okay. Just them being here is enough. Understood. Thank you, Amy. Rupert? Ah, yes, Tails? I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence to support it. We know Shadow walked through every train car locking the exit, and he gave everyone stationed in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. That's right, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key. No, the conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? Not us, Rupert. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. I think Shadow was trying to keep Amy away. What? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, how dare Rupert show me evidence? Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep me away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? I have a theory. That feels right. If you, yeah, did play, play, run game, play, run. Yeah, we're running 65. We're getting close to 69. It is approaching. Funny number. They will not let us have it. They're too scared to let us have it. They fear what they do not understand. God, I'm too good at video games. I want to see you Phoenix Wright people do that. You went rooting through the trash? Huh? What is that? We found this in the trash next to the printer. It's of a band's ticket website. Tails, don't! <gasps> ah, this is Hot Honey's website! No way, I love them! Uh, Hot Honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is <sighs> my current favorite. All the members have B after their name? Yes, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't gone to any of their shows yet to see them, though. 
The tickets are really hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time and they sell out in minutes. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow was stationed in? Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. The printout of the Hot Honey's band ticket website exists because... What? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a poor job hiding the surprise, it seems. Yes, I'm trying to get you concert tickets for your birthday. Shadow. I used that printer earlier and I found it difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? How the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic with computers, admittedly. I can't believe this, after I accused you of murder. Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine, the surprise is ruined anyway. Probably our fault there. Uh, sorry, that's all a detective's job is, I suppose. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift except for me. Worried for my social status, I immediately began brainstorming ideas and saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and I looked it up. That's when I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Is that the appointment you keep speaking of? The time you're able to actually buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets, so I begun locking all the doors. But for the safety of everyone, I handed out keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone through. It didn't work, and Amy still managed to make it here somehow. It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal flaw, the birthday key. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Shadow, I... Your gesture's so sweet. And after I accused you, too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later, and to make it up to you, you can come with me. I, uh... Don't... I don't know if... Too late, it's happening. I can't wait. The show of a lifetime. <sighs> Fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I expect lots of pictures from the concert, you two. Hmm. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter, down the drain. Amy, I'm curious. Who is the source for your, uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must remain intact. I have a feeling I know exactly who your source is. But we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. I'll come with you. I'd love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. And I'll join as well. Time to see this through to the end. We're more than happy to have you both. Rupert, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. The pieces are coming- Oh yeah, it's all coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right on then, let's do it. I- I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Okay, let's just go on. Now or never. And it looks like a spring. Should really short out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car yet. Feels empty? Wait, where's the conductor? That's odd, I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Last we saw him was when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here.
Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Let's crack on. Okay. Mug. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. What does it say on the mug? Cup of joe in your hand, wife by your side, paradise. Alright, alright, we get it. He loves his wife. This robot arm's been completely torn off. I, I think I'm gonna stop with the filter now. It's just kind of dragging things out a little bit. But I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? Confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye aye, sir. Broken robot arm added to inventory. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This, ro this robot arm right here is on the, it's the autopilot. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. And that was his big mistake, because there was actually a $200 bill in there. Wow, the conductor you look so young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he's told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Uh, yes, I wish that too. Oh, dart. Hmm? What's this? Was somebody playing darts? That's not a throwing dart. That's a blow dart. And he would know. Someone brought a weapon onto this train. Hmm, that should be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them aboard. Let's make note of this. But that does seem like that does seem like a pretty obvious oversight. You know, a dart a dart can easily be used as a weapon if not if cuz you know it's pretty sharp. Well, it's sharp. Even even if it was for just playing games, you know, you can you could like you could get poke somebody's eye out with that. Okay, talk to a Amelia. I mean, you you told me you told me that it was time. You're the one who said it, Taylor. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor's car at once. Oh. It Everyone said dot dot dot. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime spushpick with assistance from Rupert. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Vector. Real quick, can you come with me to get Sonic? You must still be pretending to be dead, lazy bum. Ready, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darlings, this has been a delight. A delight? The air in here is so intense, I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. The train has so many amenities, I feel so catered to. Admittedly, I've been having a lot of fun myself. The amusement of a chase. I see why you're a detective- uh, No, no, sorry, I thought SBO was talking now. I see why you're a detective outside of this mystery, SBO. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. But on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. I love escape rooms, count me in. So glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we could ride a train again just to relax sometime. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun too. Ah! I'm not actually gonna scream, I can't. Ah, Deborah! <laughs> What in the world? Th that's Amy's voice. Quick, where's Amy? H he's not responding to us. Sonic! Sonic! What, is he hurt? Why isn't he moving? Sonic, 
Sonic, can you hear us? He's banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Set him down, Vector. Make sure his head's propped up. I'll help you. I knew one of you would take this too far. Which one of you did this to Sonic? On my birthday, no less. Could this really have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles. So I'll ask again, which one of you did this? This is inexcusable. Sonic's hurt. I'm going to expose the monster who did this. Tails is not having it. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow he met his man. I mean, he's been killed before, it's fine. Here, here. Uh, Princess Elise? Get Princess Elise on the phone? Yeah, we need you. Yeah, come over here. I'm going to help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely! Me too. Same. We're going to figure out exactly what happened in this room and punish the one responsible. Sonic, you really was hurt this whole time, and I did nothing. I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Rupert, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, it was Sega, repeatedly. Um... I'm gonna say none of them did it. That's the- that's the cop-out answer. Nobody did it. I mean, okay, so honestly though, if I had to guess, it's probably one of these two, because like the big- the big twist is like, the, Sonic was in the dining car all along, and you know, who was in the dining car to begin with? They were. Either that or Eggman is here and he's responsible. I wouldn't- I wouldn't put it past- like, Eggman, the, uh, these two, Eggman, uh, the conductor, he did it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just trying to think like a murder mystery writer who would- who would do it. That can't be right. Neither Tails nor I can be the murderer. Uh, that's right, let me pick again- oh, all right. That- they are exempt. They are exempt from the rules. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so there was a secret... There's a secret door in Shadow's room, right? So, like, that has to be key somehow. Where did it lead? It led to the library. Espio, you were the one to murder Sonic, weren't you? I didn't know such thing, my young friend. But if it's a battle of which you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the- you're accusing Espio! We already talked about this, the man was reading, you have nothing! Restating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. However, new evidence has come to light that needs to be addressed. Rupert, could you fill everyone in? What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Not only would Espio avoid any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was reading the entire time, remember? It's true, you didn't miss a question. But I think Rupert and I can explain that too. Rupert? How did Espio know everything in the train manual he was reading? Espio is a ninja. He's fluent in 17 different languages and remarkably disciplined. What are you getting at? You picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. What? That's absurd. Memorizing a whole book. I know this is a talented bunch, but that seems like a lot. I don't know. It is plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once spe speed read a book I was reading just to spoil the ending for me. 
If I'm right, and Espio quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage, then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car, where he was murdered. Since we're only talking in what ifs, let me throw something at you. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's hidden! That's right! How would Espio have even known it was there? You said it yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find it. Rupert and I may not have the evidence to answer your question, but we know someone who does, Rupert. Who here has the evidence to prove Esbio knew about the hidden passage? Shadow. That wasn't it. Oh, okay. Oh, see. Oh, Rug. I mean, it was in the room with Shadow. You gotta give me that. Rouge, we need to see the blueprints. Blueprints? You stole blueprints? Whatever, I always used it to scout for more treasures. Came up cold. You can have it. This right here is a blueprint to the entire train. Espio could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. What makes you... What, 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 what makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge had them. Well, Rupert, do you have an answer for him? How could Espio have seen those blueprints? Rouge, where did you find the blueprints? Oh, uh, the library car. It was stuffed with the brochures. I checked the saloon car first and then found the blueprints after leaving. So that means Espio had the time to find the blueprints and discover the hidden passage. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and then used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. Within Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. The logistics are still vague, but Rupert and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Rupert and I have evidence on how it was done. Oh, this is rich. Pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, how did I do it? Blow dart. Okay, now to form- oh, here we go. Here we go. Sonic would run and not answer any question. He'd say, God of speed, keyed, and he'd be out of there. I fell in the hole. Curses into the hole once again. Yeah, okay, I'm good now. This blow dart was found here in the conductor's room. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. I said Sonic. Ah, so you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to Amy's rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. My theory, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? You deny the allegations? Of course I do. Let me present the first fatal flaw. If I knocked out Sonic in the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? I locked all the doors, and Espio didn't have a key. He would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. Rupert and I know another way it could have been done. What we do? What piece of evidence do we have to take a closer look at? Oh, okay. Oh, this? Oh, no. Oh, okay. You know, the, the little running game actually is rather fun, though. They could, they could release, like, a standalone version of this. Make it, like, a mobile... Make it, like, a mobile thing. I feel like this has got to be the last one. This, this feels like final challenge mode. 
Collect the light bulb. All right, let's take a look. If Espio didn't take the secret passage to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonnet there? Th there's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining car. Perhaps you can access it through the vent over there? The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. My word. There's a path back there, and a track. A track? Huh? A track for the robot arms, I think. This must be the path that the arms take to move throughout the train. So you're saying, I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Tails, you're a smart kid, so I know you realize how we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. I need an answer. My name's getting dragged around here. How on earth could I get Sonic through that vent? Oh, ne never mind. We, we got more. Okay, no, no, here we go. Now we're- now we're seeing a bit of finality to the whole thing. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm out of sync! I'm out of sync! My sink is broken! Where will I get my water from now? Oh, wait, I just noticed there's a freaking, like, earthbound background going on back there. Everyone saw the broken uh, robot arm on the ground, right? Clearly a fight broke out here, and one of these robot arms was a casualty. But what if? What if one of the robot arms actually caught Sonic? Knuckles said there's a track the robot arms use that continues through the vent. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic passed out from a blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. Could that be true? Take a look at Sonic, he's clearly banged up. Could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arms? I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy, but if he's woozy from a blow dart, the arms could have gotten him. Interesting theory, Tails, but you have to admit these are a lot of coincidences. I might not be able to link everything directly to SBO yet, but I have found one inconsistency. What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received false information, and I believe that information came from SBO. Who received that information? Amy. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Tails, you're- you're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. That scoop came from you, Espio? Hmm. No, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. Misheard you? Y yes I said Sonic's going to get trapped with all these locked doors. I was just looking out for my fellow, fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. W what The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. I have to agree. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time? While you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage? Gah! And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days? I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic from the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow, for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone that it only could have been one person. It was you, Espio! You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Hey guys. Sonic, you're okay. Sonic, and just as we solved the mystery, Espio was the murderer. Right.
Espio jumped me in the conductor car. Dang it, you got me. A blow dart, though? Really? It's not... It's non-lethal poison. You'll just be sleepy for a while. Great, I could use a nap. No, wait, there's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. Sonic, are you feeling all right? Do you need to lie back down? N no, we all need to get off this train. We're not safe. What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here. He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. That's a, that's a strong ass flicky. A flicky? The tiny animal? There's only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. I stuttered just like that too. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple bad name. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right as we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Espio left. The lights in the room started to glow red. Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came for me next. I spin-dashed right through the robot arm, sliced it off the rail it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Oh! The conductor screamed as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Oh no. Everyone, I have something to admit. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, we already knew that. The situation has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. You shoot someone with a blow dart, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. I was just following the rules. See? You know, <laughs> I feel like Dr. Robotnik really should have made it lethal. You know? Because Robotnik's not interested in playing the game. He just, he wants Sonic to die most of the time. I feel, Robotnik, I feel like you're kind of throwing away your chances here. You're kind of sabotaging yourself with a lot of this. I mean, I guess what else is new? What is that? It says, use a, this blow dart on Sonic, stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with a non-lethal sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing the Mirage Express, staff. What is this, instructions? I was given the blow dart along with that card. Signed, staff? Who gave this to you? Come to think of it, one of the robotic arms handed it to me. Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed these arms to attack? Who or what? Rupert, who do you think attacked Sonic and handed Espio the blow dart? I believe something's been orchestrating things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture and for a good while, so I think the train itself is plotting something. First we learned the train's a bad Nick, now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? I don't know what the train's full intent is, but clearly it's been tampering in our murder mystery game. I mean, if we discovered it's a bad Nick, there's only one person who makes those. <laughs> there's only one person who makes those. So it's like, yeah, I think it's safe to say, yeah, Robotnik's trying to kill everyone. Train. Come out and show yourself. A Amy, it's my birthday and I don't need you messing with it. 
Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's got to be another way to get the train's attention. What was that? What did you two do? Is that the conductor? No, no. Here, I can get him down. Oh, oh, I, I get to use the, I get to use it. Don't cut him. Is the train talking? Of course I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. We were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking you all to Eggman's base. Where you will walk. Eggman? After I deliver your annoying party right to his egg fortress. Annoying? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you... Enough. The train's picking up speed. Everyone grab something. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Whoa! Sonic! Ha 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 ha! Stay put until we arrive. Goodbye. Ah! Oh, whoa! No, no! I can't keep my footing. Ah! Ah! Oh, dead. <laughs> Who murdered Rupert, the whatever he is? A bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Ugh, ah. My head. Tails, Amy? Uh, is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Hello, hello, hello. No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train arms threw us back into the dining car. Where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, are you alright? Like the hedgehog asking about me? Wow, amazing, huh? You might have to share a bit of that enthusiasm with me. Uh, I might have overcompensated there. Let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Okay. Aw, oh, man. What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. I never got to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train's sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through... I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. And that'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. <laughs> Sonic, you have nowhere to keep a wallet. The conductor and I found a vector's ticket in this napkin holder. What was his ticket doing here? Maybe he was confusing a nap napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! <laughs> Hope this ticket doesn't have a ketchup stain. Hey, one of those robotic arms are here, too. Yo, it swiped at me. Best to leave it alone. The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before the arm swipes at us again. The yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Hello! Hello! Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, egghead. Ho ho ho, you spiky blue pest! Seems you've finally taken passage as one of, on one of my passenger trains. Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me! <laughs> uh, ignoring that. They certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement isn't well known, civilian. The infrastructure in your towns wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need sorting out. So I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? 
The people fear giant spears. It's science. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. D did you not know this was happening? Heavens no, I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy to notice what a passenger train is up to. You see, the capability of a badnik is normally very basic. Just kill Sonic the Hedgehog. But for a luxury train, I wanted to make sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened aboard. The train's capability of an intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture is inevitable. You're on a train that desires nothing more than deliver you all to me. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond programming. I like to make my badniks compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of badniks. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. Is that a Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog reference? I mean, I know chat is dead as shit right now, but <laughs> somebody, if somebody watches this, can you answer that for me later? The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Most of my robots ask for something simple, like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intelligent train. It may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my base, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, Hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. He always knows how to get under my skin. This is tough. The train has motivation, and being made by Eggman, it's no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were in danger, and I went along with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Am I at fault here? Hey. I can tell this situation's getting to you. Oh yeah, sorry, I... I get it, the road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that got you here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass and keep living. I need you here to help me think through this before I do something rash. See, I'm one of those leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay, you're right. Let's keep moving forward. I mean I always pog when I hear, uh, doesn't matter. Breathe, okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before our train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what Sonic would do. So, what would you do? What would I do? Well, I'd speed through head-on and rescue our friends by any means necessary. Here, stand back. And then Sonic takes a blow to the face. He makes an indent in the wall, like in Spongebob. Wow, with one big wind-up, Sonic's spin dash was fast enough to get the door open. Heh, <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Sonic, you're not wearing pants. Ready to go? Yeah. That's the spirit. Let's go find our friends. To the conductor car, to end this mystery. Well, I mean, the mystery is basically done at this point. We just kind of got to get out of this life or death situation. Oh, oh. All right, our friends are locked in the cars up ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bas bash through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Oh, but now, now I'm actually snuck. Oh crap, not doing good. Not doing good. I thought we were done with this at this point, but nope. Oh, oh, oh. But nope, nope, nope. Final ch challenge. Nope. Ah, 
fudge. Poopy fudgy. That's a very sad ending to Sonic's story here. Is when Dustin failed to grab enough rings. I mean, I think I've been... I think I've been doing pretty good besides that, though. Just wait till I see Eggman. I'm gonna clobber him. We gotta deal with the train first. Come on, let's go. Hmm. All right. We gotta rescue all the duders. Because friendship is magic or something. Okay, good. You all came for us. Of course, but let's move. Train wants to take us prisoner and earn a reward. My reward is to get off this stupid train! Let's go. Yeah, good, good, good. Oh, wait, crap. Crap. Okay, good, good. Good. Sonic. It's about time. I thought we were supposed to be fast, Sonic. We gotta move. You two ready? Always. Let's boogie. Oh, no, I can't, can't make it over to that. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we just need a little more. We just need a little more. Okay, we're good. Unless I get hit. Okay, I didn't get hit. They locked Amy and Tails in the conductor car. Say no more, let's go. Come on! You're telling me I jump right over that. Sonic! Sonic, you're here! <laughs> this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. Excellent work trapping these pests. Now hurry to me. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another Death Egg. Teleport you all oh, to the future when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train. Hurry it up. I will not fail. My wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, oh, you mean the bounty? I don't care what you call it. Just bring me those overgrown mammals. Mm, that Eggman. I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. The train doesn't want the bounty. Oh, oh, actual boss fight. Oh, the arm! He emerges from the ground! Give me my dog back! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm good. I got it. None of you could possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could you just leave like it was nothing? Who do you mean? The conductor? He's retiring. You just have to accept that. 
My lips will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. You can't force someone to be friends with you. That's messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Okay, yeah, so I was way off about calling the final running sect. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You know, if I had a nickel for every time Sonic the Hedgehog had to chase a train... Eggman! Eggman! Can you hear me? My way! My way! My way! Make the conductor never leave me! Let us be friends forever! The kind of friends who would never leave each other! Why would you betray me? Oh, 69, which is not nice in this instance. Conductor! You promised me! You promised! Let him speak! Unhand him! Train, stop this! When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuse me! How dare you abandon me! I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist loneliness upon me? Whoa. N no, stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Oh. Yep. Get it. I think this is like... no, nah, not quite a boss. I mean, it has that boss sort of flavor. Oh, it's the fl flurpy. A flicky! This is just like the lore card when my ex-best friend left detective work to join Dr. Eggman. So this really is a bad Nick. The stakes rise every second, huh? We gotta save him. On it. Let's show our full power. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. No, selfish? How, how dare you? Oh, crap, we're playing, we're playing. We're playing. <laughs> Oh yeah, I get. Yeah, yeah. Fe Phoenix, right, baby. Do this. Do this.
No, 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 no! Ah! I'll grab the flicky. It's over. Time to pay for ruining my birthday. Train is slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. I... had to... couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Okay. Do I, do I click? Okay, I clicked. We did it! Well, I'll say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Watch your step, watch your step. It's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next birthday we can just ask Vanilla to make dinner. Oh, you don't love parties where by the end someone tries to kill you? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Honey, you're late. I've been waiting here for hours. <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. So I won't even try. <laughs> I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagonia in the morning and you need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind! I need this vacation something terrible! And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his entire retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Oh, who's this? <laughs> An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Chop, chop, chop! Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I've caused. Don't be, you were just following what you thought was the game. It's hard to know what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit someone with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? Would have been hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool, and now that we're safe, it was fun! This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, am I starving. I forgot we never ate. I offered several times. With all the clatter, I completely forgot I was hungry. Me too. I was distracted playing detective. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic? Wh wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? The station has a bakery, and look what I bought! Ah, birthday they did that really fast. <laughs> like, I mean, Sonic's pretty fast, but apparently... <laughs> apparently the bakers are even faster. Happy birthday, Amy. To the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. And to Sonic CD, which is a good game. <laughs> to an adventure of a birthday, darling. A memorable party every year. To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. 
I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personacity. Happy birthday. I'm not smart enough to know if personacity is a word. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday. Ah, uh, you got... And he's still here, too. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but, but, but... I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything. Never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now let's have some cake. Yes, please! Dig in, everyone! Yay! I hope it's chocolate. <laughs> and yeah, I, I did see this image. I, I will confess to you all. I'm glad- <laughs> I'm glad Sage is here. This is- this image is so cute. That train's never making it here, is it? Orbot, prepare a bath! The happy rubber duck or the angry one? Angry! Sour choice, your evilness! Shut it! <laughs> and that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lies for a fleeting moment and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I... No, get, get, get the... Get out of here. And then... Uh... Uh, I became a superstar, and after all that, I... Uh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's just been my life. Okay, like, I'm a cashier. <laughs> yeah, that was cute. That was, like, way, way, like, a ton of effort for something released on April Fool's Day. But it, it's cute, it really is. And yeah, it was like the Sonic social media team that worked on this. I'm glad they let them do it. I'm glad they let them release this on Steam and everything. And there's, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of like care and attention put into this. And you can tell at least some people, you know, enjoyed this series. Like, <laughs> had some fun sticking stuff in and I appreciate that. Omega is a badass last name. And yeah, good good work all around. Good work. It's not the type of game I usually play, but I couldn't resist, you know? Honestly, if you ask me, they should have released it like a little, like a year or two later to kind of help tide over people until an official like Sonic Team proper Sonic game, you know? Wait, is there a dude's name who, his first name's actually Evo? That's pretty sick. They should make that guy the president of the company. Oh, Ian Flynn, Tyson, Hess, Hesse. Get that, get that hussy. <laughs> so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that. Alvin! I wonder what this was made in. 
Like, what kind- did this use an engine? What kind of engine did this use? Okay. Okay. Legal and business affairs. Legal and business affairs. Why oh, Kirby worked on this game? See? Oh, that, that poor dude, he's got an itchy nose. Oh, the straight. Toodles team, Big the Cat the Dog. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around.